Congratulations on the win. Thank How you. How do you think the fight went for you? I feel it was close, very close. He's a strong opponent, very smart, very skilled. Uh, he spent a lot of time in Thailand. I knew he was going to have a very strong Thai style, a good, good knowledge of the sport, a good knowledge of how to score. So I knew I had to be that bit smarter, that bit quicker, and that bit more to get under his skin. Feels it was a close fight, but feels if it was a fair and good fight, and I feel as if it was very respectful. Did you plan uh, before the fight to try and taunt him a little, get in his head a little? I don't really plan for that. It's just kind of my nature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really mean to. I'm just uh, what they say, a sportsman. I like to, I like to entertain. End of the day, you get into this to be a showman, don't you? Everybody wants to be a showman, and uh, I think I mean, me being a big fan of The Rock kind of led me to that. So I kind of just have that about me. I don't, I don't really plan for it, but I did plan for this fight. Uh, I knew it was going to be southpaw, and I knew I had to be smart to work around it. Uh, in the first three rounds, you were more or less all out. Really, you felt you went down about three times. I think. Mm -hmm. Do you think he was going to come back so strong in the fourth and fifth? Yeah, that's what we planned for. Uh, I felt as if I had to get the jump on him right away. But, uh, I had a thought in my head that if I catch him quick, I'll shock him, or maybe scare him a little, help him with some power, and he might, he might go into a shell. But then I knew, come fourth and fifth round, he was going to get pushed a bit to go for me, and I knew that's when I had to be smart on my game, no more carrying on, no more of the dancing. That was just to roll him up, and roll him up. You seem to really frustrate him, not just with the time, but with your style as well. You very elusive, and yeah. you know, at times he really struggled to do what he wanted. With you. Mm -hmm. Is that the plan for you to kind of stay away, you know, get him a bit annoyed, and then do yeah, what well, you wanted to do? That's the plan all the time. I, you see, we have a joke in my gym. <laughs> I don't do my tie, I do my tam. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my own little style. I kind of, I've done a bit, uh, a bit of everything really. I've done karate. I was a black belt in karate. I won Scottish tournaments years in a row and such, it just kind of built my own style and well, it's uh, working well and I feel as if, don't want to change it, I feel as if it's uh, bespoke, not a lot of people do it and I think it's the way to go forward, catch people's surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say do it. I'd say you do have a bit of an unorthodox style. Thank you. And in Muay Thai, especially with a lot of people coming, you know, Muay Thai is a very mm -hmm. traditional and basic sport. For you, having that kind of unorthodox, is that always giving you the element of surprise which you think you know can give you the edge? Yeah, because uh, well, you can't really plan for someone that doesn't even know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. like, I, I, I don't know how many times I saw it, but I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do when I'm in there. <laughs> I go in there with a rough idea. Like, uh, I have a rough outline, but what's in the middle, I can't tell you. I, like, there's times I've done cartwheel kicks. I fought, <laughs> I fought a big name at two weeks' notice, I'd done a cartwheel kick, and that was silly. Shouldn't have done it, but I did it. And uh, that's what I mean. You can't plan for someone that's unplannable. You can't plan for someone that doesn't know what they're quite doing. You can't really prepare for that, can you? But, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I shocked myself. I look back at the video and go, did I do that one? No. I can't believe I've done that. Why do you know? Bar me for that. But it's part of the game, innit? Be, be a surprise. I think that's what the crowd want, a surprise. You know, in Muay Thai, it's very kind of, you know, you go in there, you fight, but you kind of presented it a bit more of an electrifying style, you know, as you said, the rock there. Yeah. You know, how important is it in <laughs> people's eye, right? Like, uh, in Muay Thai, to, for fighters to present themselves a bit more in the ring and give themselves a bit more of a character for the fans to back? I feel as if, if you've got a character behind you, you a lot more fans can relate to you. If you're a really able person, no one wants to see a boring fighter. Fair enough, they want to see a good fight, but they don't want to see a boring fighter. A boring fighter, I know plenty. They don't really sell much tickets, they don't really have a following, but they're great Mai Tai fighters. They're great style, great scorers, win a lot of fights, but they don't get that back. And I feel as if you build a profile around you, and like get a few catchphrases, get something, I don't know, just throw some junk on it and go for it, I don't know. I just kind of works for me. It just kind of works for me. Uh, feels as if the way to get a following is to have a bit of a name around you. Like Greg Wooten, I like, I like him. He's got the Wu Tang kind of name. Yeah. And, and then you've got Harrison, the Hitman. Then you've got like all the other top names, the Punisher. Like, all these big names that have all got this alter ego. And uh, well, they're the top boys of the sport, aren't they? We all look up to. Whereas the ones that don't really have that, they get to where they want to be, but they're not really get that following and I feel as if I've got that behind me and I want to keep that going. Do I lose it? And I love this spot. I love this spot. I love this. I love the feeling. I love that that soreness next day. I love for it. It's just me. <laughs>
Cool. Uh, going back a little bit, saying that you're a very unorthodox fighter, you don't really know what you're going to do until you're in the ring. Does that mean that it kind of affects any sort of game plan that you have coming into the fight? No, not really. Like, uh, like I said, I'm orthodox. I'm unorthodox. And it's just what happens. Like, I'm not really sure like, how I plan for it. But like, I do have an outline. And like I said, it's like a pie. I've got the outside. I don't know what I'm going to fill it with yet. Once I fill it, the crowd's here. And that's me. I love a pie. <laughs> so does a rock pie. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, have you got any future plans for yourself? Be number one. I'm going for that number one spot. And I'm uh, not just in Britain, but the world. Well, I take the world by storm. The world's going to know John claude Van Tam. I'm going to steal John claude Van Tam from John claude Van Damme. So I'm going to do. Just watch.